Cherry, the company well known for keyboard switches, has decided to, well, make some microphones. Not one, not two, but three of them. And, well, I'm actually quite surprised. Just to let you know, everything recorded on this video from this point forward is using this Cherry microphone we're actually reviewing today. This is no run-of-the-mill PC microphone. It features four polar patterns, enabling users to customise the sound according to their style or accommodate multiple users simultaneously. It also has an integrated shock mount, typically only found in boom arms, alongside distinctive RGB lighting and a unique copper look. Today we'll be scrutinising this product and conducting sound tests. Cherry has also launched two additional models, the UM 3.0 and the UM 6.0, which we will review in due course, along with several accessories like the boom arms and mic pop filter. But today we are looking at the UM 9.0 Pro RGB. The packaging impresses with a sleek black background showcasing a glossy image of the microphone and the product name. The sides and the back of the box provide all necessary information about the contents and specifications. This top tier model boasts a bit rate of 24 bits and a sample rate of 192 kHz. One side also displays a handy features diagram. Beneath the outer sleeve, you'll find a red box that contains everything you need. The packaging is noteworthy for its environmental conscious design. There's no plastic, no polystyrene, no excess trinkets that will end up in landfill. Plus, everything is pre-assembled. Simply plug in the cable to the microphone in your PC and you're good to go. The box includes eco-friendly tissue paper and card packaging, a user manual, a 2.5 meter long braided USB Type-C to USB Type-A cable, and the pre-assembled microphone itself. Upon inspecting the microphone, its copper base, stylish stand and red shock mount fittings make it stand out, even with the RGB turned off. Looks are subjective, but personally I believe this is among the most attractive microphones out there. The base, resembling a scorpion in my opinion, with its tail supporting the microphone, is removable via a thumb screw, allowing for mounting on a boom arm. There are two holes in the base for basic cable management and a screw hole on the bottom of the mic where you can attach an optional pop filter. The microphone tilt can be adjusted with ease as well and if you need to loosen it or strengthen it, you can do with the thumb screw. The RGB lighting adds a cool, eye-catching factor. If you prefer a less flashy look, hold the button on the bottom for 3 seconds to switch the lights off. To cycle through various colour presets and rainbow effect modes, press the RGB button on the bottom. No software is available for this product, meaning you're limited to preset RGB modes and sound modes. To modify your sound settings, you'll need a third-party app. However, many users may appreciate not having additional bloatware on their PC, and bear in mind this audio you're hearing at the moment is totally unedited. The microphone features a touch sensor on the top that allows you to mute it. When muted, the entire microphone glows red. The mode of the microphone can be changed by pressing the volume wheel on the front and a corresponding number of lights will indicate the chosen mode. From cardioid mode for focused recording in front of the microphone to stereo mode for a wider angle recording suitable for two users sitting side by side. You've also got bi-directional mode for interview style recordings and omnidirectional mode for group settings. The Cherry microphone caters for a variety of needs. Make sure to test each mode in a sound recorder for optimal results. The microphone also features a gain wheel on the front for adjusting recording volume and a wheel on the back for adjusting the volume if you plug in a headset on the bottom. The inclusion of a shock mount is a significant plus. This feature helps eliminate vibrations from desk impacts, which are more common than you might think, especially if you're a vigorous typist. I was pleasantly surprised by the sound quality. I'll let you compare it to the popular Blue Yeti X, but I must say Cherry's offering holds its own against the higher priced competitor. So I'm now recording with the Blue Yeti X, which is a very popular microphone for streamers and gamers. So this will give you a rough idea what this microphone sounds like compared to the Cherry microphone. 
So let's do a sound test on this Cherry microphone. I've got it roughly 30 centimeters away from the mouth at the moment, which is about the distance you should be having it if you've got it sitting on your desk. Bear in mind, I wouldn't advise pushing it all the way to the back of the desk. You should have it as close to you as possible. Now, if you move it even closer, you're gonna find the sound quality improves quite a bit. And this is the same with most microphones. You want them as close to your mouth as possible. So you're near enough eating the microphone. So to do that, the first thing you've got to do though is turn the gain down which is the volume knob on the front otherwise it's going to sound too loud I've now got the microphone roughly about five centimeters away from my mouth to give you a rough idea what it sounds like. So it should be a little bit clearer, probably a little bit less echoey, not that it was really that echoey to begin with, but you should see or hear the sound difference. Also, because I've got it on cardioid mode, you will sound different if you move left to right. So for, for example, I'm moving to the left of it now, you should find it go really, really quiet. And now I'm going back to the center where I'm talking directly into it and now I'm going to the right where it should go a lot quieter again. I would recommend investing in a pop filter if you can and an arm. A pop filter reduces the popping noises when you're speaking into the microphone and a boom arm allows you to position the mic closer to your mouth. Given that this is Cherry's first known venture, or at least to me, into microphones, they could have easily opted for rebranding a generic budget model. Instead, they released three models simultaneously, each thoughtfully designed and tailored for user needs. It's challenging to pinpoint any negatives. The only potential drawback is that the pop filter costs extra for all the models and that there's no software adjusting the RGB or mic sound. However, these may be a non-issue for most users. We don't do this often, but the Cherry UM 9.0 Pro RGB microphone certainly merits a resounding Hell Yeah award. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.